Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can fake this refraction kind of effect. As you can see it looks pretty much like water. Uh, a few things which you can't really avoid is it doesn't really work too well with edges and also you have this problem with the seams of the UVs because it is, is warping the UVs or displacing the UVs so it doesn't work that well. Now what you see is I have over here a more basic example of what we are going to be doing. It's exactly the same thing, it's just on a different kind of mesh. Um, so you can move around it and it does it. So here is a basic thing, just with a texture on a plane and a sun. Now, if you do not know how to do this, this tutorial is probably going to be a bit advanced for you anyway. So I would suggest um, look at some other tutorials if you don't know how to set up this basic thing. All right. So what we're going to do is come over here and uh, we are going to come here and we're going to go open, open, Im open image and we're going to come and find an image which you'll be able to download in the description. Um, if I come to the textures, well this is this animated texture and it's a an water animated texture one. And this is just a normal map with that animated texture, the kind that um, Blender uses. So, if you don't know what an animated texture is, it's bunch. Basically, this one is a bunch of frames or like a hundred, all stuck together in a certain way. That so that um, it makes the animation. Now, I have a link in the tutorial. Uh, I believe the Tempster did one, and also. Uh, the, the Blender Foundation, they made a game, they have a tutorial on as well. So I'll have a link to one of those. So as you can see, I just changed it to the frame to 99 and the things to 10 by 10. So that's 100. And the reason it's 99, not 100, is Blender does count 0 as a number. So that's why it's at 99 instead of 100. So it is at 100, just doesn't work as as how you thought. So if we add in a new new texture on this, and we select that water animated PNG. What you'll see is if we go to game so we can play it, uh, it's working. So I'm just going to paste this in here to give it a name. Uh, that should be fine. So uh, if we come here, we can't actually use these. We don't want these in here because. Uh, see, we want we want to warp the UVs, but we can't have them. We can't use it if they're in here. We can't warp the UVs this way. So, what we're going to want to do is change this to a node editor, and you're going to want a clean texture, and then you're just going to enable use nodes down the corner, All right? So as you can see, I just made a new material here. I'm just going to call this UV, and then we're going to go Shift A input geometry. And we're going to grab the UV, which is our mapping. And if we plug it into color, now you can see we've got this weird color. And if we go texture and plug that in the middle and then select our first texture, as you can see, there we go. It's, um, I just turned off specularity now. It's working and you can see what you want to see. Now, this first bit is done. The texture is done. But what we want to do is warp the UVs. So we're going to move this down we're going to go input texture. Now, we're going to be using that water animated texture. Um, so what we're going to do is, as you can see it's here. So we're going to connect. Uh, for now, we're going to connect it into the UVs just so we can use it for testing. You can use global and we will use global later on. But for now, I just connected it into this. Just for testing purposes. So should be good. If we connect it into here, as you can see, that the UVs go all weird and really weird. So what this is doing is it's use it's mapping it with the the UV uh, sorry, the normal map. So what we want to do is we want to go converter, vector math, then we want to connect this UV in. Um, and what you see so now we have this result, which is not the best, so we're going to go normalize. That gives us a different result, which still looks pretty bad, but we'll fix that in just a second. 
So what we can do here is we can go color RGB mix and connect the UV into the bottom slot and make sure the other ones in the top slot. Now we can use the slider to to kind of turn up and down the effect. So if we turn this down to zero, we get this full effect. If we change this to something higher, we get barely any of the effect. So you want to change this till you get a bit of the effect. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good. Looks a little bit weird, but uh, you're going to want to change this to global. It's just going to make it look just that much nicer. It's a bit big. So as you can see now, we're getting more of an effect. Um, so I might want to turn this down a little bit though. Uh, 0.5. Oh, no, that's not good. Is 0.9, so that that's pretty good. That's kind of the effect we want. So, just got to tweak the value until you get the kind of effect you want. So, I do tweak this for a little while because uh, very. All right, so there we go. Now the problem with this is it does look pretty good when it's animated, but when we move around, it doesn't really. I guess you could say refract the light, which is kind of the wrong word because we're not refracting the light, but we're kind of faking it. So the way you're going to do this is we're going to do this again, um, but what we're going to do is duplicate this image, and we're going to connect, uh, not the normal, I just connected that by accident, oh, so you see in a second that I'll see there's something wrong with it. We want to change this to add as well, or else it's not going to do anything. So it's a bit hard to see, but you get a flickering effect, and that's because it connected to the wrong thing. You want to connect this into the view. Now what you see is we get the effect of... It gives us a nice big overall wavy effect to your texture. And when you move around, it kind of changes the texture, which just makes it look much more realistic and like it's refracting different kind of things. So you might want to change this to be a bit more or a bit less, um, kind of to your liking. So there we go. So that is the waving effect right there. And I do tweak this for a while, but... That is the basic effect. Now, if you want to use a mask, the same thing you can do is you can just duplicate this over. Um, then you can just connect the UV into the bottom slot and then the this one into the top slot. And then you can use effect it for, with a black and white image. Like if you saw the last tutorial, we made like a mask for if it was underwater or not. So you could use that. And you could create a really good effect like that if you wanted to. So you can go try that if you want. It's pretty easy to set up. Now, one thing you're going to note is you're going to want to do this. You don't want to have a sharp edge. So you're going to want to have some kind of soft edge using smooth or something. Because this does not work well with hard edges. Because it just... The way that this works is... Uh, you could say it's a little bit... It is, it's ex cheating, so it doesn't work with the light, and we just move the UV, so it doesn't work correctly. So, certain circumstances, you might want to change a few things to just make this a bit nicer. But, if you have any questions about this tutorial, go ahead and comment them down below. So, you can group this if you like, Um, but... If you have a better way of doing this, also comment that down below. And you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get updated every single week with new tutorials for the Blender game engine. Or, or as well, you could find them on BlenderReel.com. And see you next week. Keep blendering, make something awesome, and try, try doing some more stuff with those because they're pretty powerful if you use some techniques. As I've shown you here, you can mix them up and make all different kinds of things. So have a go, post it in the comments if you make something cool, and have a great week, keep blending.